my fault. It's, but not, it's not your fault. It's, we didn't we didn't sound awkward. We were just doing our thing. <laughs> we just doing our thing. Doing you know? our thing. Ain't no big thing but a chicken wing. Word um, up, dude. Nonetheless. Word to Big Bird. Word up, Big Bird. Word, Big Bird. Word, Big Bird. All right. Well, uh, Red will be defending first. So that's going to be Dignitas will be attacking here for the uh, for the Dignitas squad. <laughs> Dignitas, <laughs> Dignitas will be attacking, will be attacking first. The Dignitas. And uh, we have yep. And let's go ahead and jump on board there with Kawa. Uh, Kawa. Kawa's the lead off. Interesting. Now, they Kawabunga. did replace Zacubus with Frantic, which what do, is, what do you think in about my that? opinion, a, a good good pickup for them just because I think Zacubus was their weak link. Um, I think we saw that at IPL5. Um, and Frantic is, is one of the great but, players but from TCM. But is still in Zacubus Dignitas. Has, they, well, for this tournament, they put together Dignitas Pug, which was NVC, who's their manager. who used to play TF2 as a scout. Um, Zacubus and then one other player that I do not remember his name right now. But nonetheless, I think it was a good pickup for this Dignitas team that we're seeing right here. I think I if I had to take a guess, I, I believe they're going to win this match. Now, is that going to be a curse of the sickness or not? But nonetheless, good shot there by Kawa. Another great shot, but he is taken out by with two rockets. It's going to be one armor on one rocket. or Sorry, on one defender wow. right now. But Kawa finishes strong there with a nice shot onto Ezekiel. Now, all those shots were pretty quick. You know, you need quick reaction time, you know, quick little snapshots that he just made there. So very impressive play by Kawa. I think he just proved to us why he's he's the uh, number one leadoff attacker for Dignitas. Now. That's exactly what you want there. Now you're going to see here as uh, Fraskin um, or Friskin, Fraskin, Fraskin, Fraskin from Fraskin. the Three Little Pigs. He's, he's will Korean? be attacking. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not, but uh, yeah. whoa. Nice shot there as uh, Fraskin takes out Kawa. And now Fraskin's going to be making his way over to the left side here, doing a little wall jump, not able to nail anything, trying to go for another wall jump, yeah. and the I rockets like are just whizzing by. Another yeah, wall he's jump. using it a yeah, lot. He's, very, he's utilizing beta 2. This is what I want to see, guys. <laughs> if you play in my... Or in our upcoming tournaments, in my use in my in Cygnus' tournament, where I will curse you if I believe you're gonna do well or do bad. You will do the opposite. <laughs> now, nonetheless, Fraskin is down to one armor here, and he's just gonna Pressure. get charged down by Dignitas. So a strong start with Dignitas taking the lead 2-0, and we're gonna have Garpy up to bat for the attack. Now it's interesting they put Frantic on the third attacker because. I always thought Frantic was was you know a very strong player from from TCM back when he was on that team with the Luxes and Didix. Yeah. Um, Luxes ended up going to uh, Fnatic. Fnatic, and they actually are already out of this tournament, which is very interesting. They lost to um, uh, it was Pyrogen. Epsilon. Epsilon. Oh yeah, Epsilon. Epsilon. Uh, Pyrogen defeated Millennium, yeah. but yeah. Pyrogen defeated. Those are very interesting. You know, I w I probably gave them the curse just because I thought both those teams were gonna win. In my head, I s I wasn't on the stream when when those were being cast, but in my head, I you know I was like, hey guys, you know. Anyway, nonetheless, <laughs> I'm I gotta stop talking about this. I'll, I'll be honest. Garpy misses that shot by 49 centimeters. He's gonna use the little wall jump there. Just. Make it look so natural. I like what he's doing here. He's down to two armor, though. He's going to get rushed down, and this is not looking good for Garp. He's only got 12 seconds left. Yeah, he got pinned into the uh, back corner there. That just was not good for him. But, yeah, you know, you are right, though. Like, uh, we're going to see how this all pans out for Dignitas. But, uh, you know, the question is, who's the winner and who's the loser in this instance? And based off of the way it is right now. Oh, look at that wall jump. Nice. Cute. That, was, that was cute. Very adorable. Um, but, yeah, so uh, the winner and the loser of the TCM disbanding. Uh, we don't even know where Didix is going yet. Right. And I thought Didix was a really solid player. Oh, yeah, to be definitely. honest, I thought, I thought TCM was a good team, they were. period. I think they were just a little frustrated with their IPL5 results. You yeah, know, they, they, make they, they just group. had some bad runs. Yeah, you know? I mean... But, you know, that's not to say they, they didn't do very well. They were in the, the stronger group, you know, with Planet Express. Uh, the winner of the open bracket, which was Fnatic. Planet Express and was feeling hot at that yeah. tournament. Oh, yeah, it, totally. It, it, in, 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 oh, wow. Nice stuff there by yeah, Les wow. Vu. Les Vu. Les Vu. Oh, man, I, I'm butchering his name. I am from France. I'm just going to so call I him Lee. Like that, was, that was wrong. That was Le, a very offensive thing. Les Zhao. Who knows, man? Who I'm going to call him Lee. And Lee, Lee. there is able okay. to actually get that attack round win. <laughs> yeah, so it's tied things up now. It's two to two. Indeed. Lee Zhu uh, ends up bringing them back in a, in a strong fashion right there. That was an impressive attacking round. And uh, now we have Frantic here. Let's see. They're Dignitas's the Dignitas new colors. Member. Yeah, them Dignitas colors. He's got the Dignitas Nikes on. Um, <laughs> I believe they are. No, I don't think they are sponsored by Nikes, but they did get all of their players at one LAN event um, for StarCraft and whatnot. Um, they, all, they got them all... Uh, 
black and yellow with a little bit of white uh, Nikes, you know. And really? They, they were all just like suited out with their with their um, uniforms and everything with the Nikes. They just they look so fresh, man. It was crazy. You know, I've always been a big fan of the Dignitas organization. Um, you know, they never really entered into the console space. A nice play Boom. there by Frantic, able to I make like this to into two attack rounds. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, rounds good where movement. you can just have great movement. You know, you get the goal capture. It really uh, utilizes the, uh, you know, just good movement and, and yeah, awareness of where sure. the rockets are and where the defenders are and whatnot. So uh, it's 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 hard to do that too. But you know, nonetheless, oh, Ezekiel does get Ooh, spammed he down. Got hit and with almost got one. hit by a second spam rocket right there. He's got to uh, tighten up his game, and this is probably why he is the third attacker for it. Tet three pigs, Tet yeah. Three pigs. You know, um, a lot of the times I'll see the third attacker just run into spam rockets, and you know, I, I don't know if that's because yeah, right there, you know, that was, I mean, a nice shot by Garpy, sure, but um, he really shouldn't have oh. been, been getting hit by those. You know, when you really look at it though, those are two shots that he could have gotten, but because of the rockets, uh, he didn't. But right. you know, just to go back to what I was talking about with Dignitas before, you know, I feel like it's a great organization that uh, you know I've always been a personal fan of because, oh, like, yeah. like Navi, they always have those uh, the, the, the colors I love so much. The yellow and the black, you know, I'm a big right. fan of the color yellow. So you you, you always kind of like gravitate toward those kinds of teams, you know. You like um, a team based on their colors. I, I actually do. Yeah, it was when, when I joined sun. when I joined Team Fear. Um, team I was a big Fear. fan of the red and the black. Just the red way and that the they black is a cool color scheme. Black and, and anything really is a cool yeah. color scheme in my opinion. Black and yellow. Black, black and, and yellow. Red. Black and yellow. Black Maybe and black yellow. And <laughs> black and yellow. Black and yellow. What? Yeah, but Doggy. that was actually the colors of my old team. Dog uh, since Cub Scouts, yeah. son. Yeah, my old team, the Last Resistance. We were. Black and yellow. Yeah, we were, that sounds pretty epic, dude. Yeah, right we were there. actually like pretty epic. Taking that team. real serious, huh? We, we were super <laughs> serious. Super, super serial. serial son. Super serial. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, well, let's Kawa, go back to the action. 11 seconds left. His second attacking round right here. This is uh, it's going to be very interesting. He has, still has three armor. He's going to move to the point, and he has, ah, oh, only uh, gets 50%. it up to 50%. He gets kind of bounced around by the three pigs right there, even though there's only two pigs. <laughs> he gets bounced around. They kind of just, <laughs> boom, blubbered him around. You know, they just ran into him with their. They're pig fat and just kind the of pig bounce them in between each other. <laughs> just slinging pig just fat, slinging instead, of, pig fat. Instead, of, instead of rockets. And it's so funny because they're they're red, so it's just like <laughs> like like pig fat. Just is oh, I don't know man. if pig fat's red, but yeah, who you knows? know, pig fat's not blue. Well, think that of much bacon. Certain. Think of that. That's, ba bacon. Bacon, is, bacon is red. It is uh, it's actually. Yeah, I'm gonna red, have bacon that's not tonight. the fat part. The fat part is is actually yellowish. <laughs> um, <laughs> on the last, I don't know where we're going. I don't even know where we're going with this one. But taking out, I think two Dignitas players right there, but he ends up only taking out two rockets instead. He's down to two armor with a nice little shot there onto Frantic. Um, it's going to be two armor on two defenders right now with seven seconds until the point is open. He's going to do this uh, little wall jump to get a nice angle there on these defenders. They don't really know where he is, where he's going to be peeking from. Um, and he does end up sneaking up around here to the left, but he's seen by the Dignitas defenders. He goes onto the point oh, and he gets wow. it up to 93% before he gets taken out by um, Kawa and Garpy land those last two rockets. You have to think that one of the major things things that I, I'm really seeing now with wall jumping is that players are not expecting they're, they're they're not expecting them to come from anywhere now you know what I mean which was a big issue uh, before because you knew exactly where the player was gonna uh, go yes. every time like if he's coming on the left side he doesn't have that many yeah, options he's gonna have he can, to go up that ramp. he only has like really two choices to make now uh -huh. he has like four or five and yeah. that really changes things up here uh, you know now coming from the backside is more than possible like you know oh, yeah. quickly as opposed to before which was like all right let's hope I nailed this jump that's not necessarily the case anymore so so tea very time impressed. with Leave Zoo. Tea, tea time. All right, <laughs> we're doing just that hanging again. Out. Hey, we gotta. Hey, come on. Tea time reference once per cast. Once at least. Come Look on, at this. Look at Garpy oh, here. Garpy, he's just jumping around like a freaking Ooh. ninja, but he does end up getting taken out there by Fraskin to uh, to finish the round. But nonetheless, Dignitas still has a lead right now. It is five four, and they are on the defense. So it is two attacking rounds for Dignitas. Uh, Kawa and Frantic have both landed those against one attacking round for the Pigs. And who was that who landed the, their attacking round? That was actually that going was to be uh, Lee. Lee, Lee attacked the atta got so the attack round. This, four, and now he's picks. up to bat again. So hopefully he can, uh, you know, Do bring things again. back for the three pigs. Um, try to uh, keep them in this first map. Now, yeah, if they lose the first really map, it's going to be very tough for them to come back, especially against a team as strong as Dignitas, especially with the addition of Frantic. You know, um, before it could have been argued that Zacubus was, uh, you know, kind of really a weak link as opposed to, you know, having three members that are roughly the same skill. 
skill, but now with Frantic, I think Ooh. it's going to kind of even things up, and all the players are on a, a more even playing field. And, and good shot there by Leibzu to, uh, he takes out, who's that, Garpy. Yeah. It's going to be a one armor now uh, against two defenders. Now he does take out Kawa. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with eight seconds left here. He's going to go up to the pole. He's going for the cap, but wow. no, he gets hit by Frantic with a nice little, uh, little shot around the pole right there. Very good by him. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, uh, we are seeing actually some of Shoemania's best uh, logging in to watch this game. Um, as you saw in the bottom, Carnage and Flamehopper are, did join the game mm -hmm. to watch. So this is pretty Some cool. Yeah, American talent right Yeah, there. a lot of He's spectating uh, going on uh, in this server. There's actually, I think, two or three more people in here. That's something you could do in Streamania. You know, while tournament's going on, watch the game. If you find out yeah. where the server is, you can just watch the game and, uh, you know, see yeah, it. From the spectator view, you can't exactly. actually join the game or mess around with the it, game. Yeah. But you can just spectate, which is a very cool feature. Ooh, oh, oh. Um, nothing too crazy. But Frantic's getting hit here by these long-range rockets, and it's not you can't do anything. Just not good. You can't be getting hit by those easy, uh, those rockets that are easy to dodge. And uh, there again, he kind of just ran into it. Um, but that's that's not to take anything away from the three pigs right there. They they did uh, they had some nice spam and, and some good long range rockets right there. To, you know, uh, to give them the round. Um, Frisco in the chat had mentioned that the rockets are maybe slightly faster. Yeah. And we haven't uh, we haven't I haven't gotten an actual confirmation yet. Oh oh no. Whoa. Okay, Ezekiel, he, what are you doing? You, you, could, you could wall jump. You yeah. could wall jump that whole thing, you buddy. Wall jump, dude. This wall guy, jump the whole thing. There okay. you go. Okay, look at this guy. That's cute. That's <laughs> cute moves right there by Ezekiel, yeah. guys. Well, that's tea a good thing. Now, with Ezekiel. Tea Hello. time. Oh, okay. is, uh, tea time on the <laughs> okay. offense. Uh, the, oh, they're already opening it up with a shot here. As Ezekiel now is actually going to have one armor left. Not going to be in a great spot oh. as Kawa lands the last rocket there. He gets the first, lands the last. Yeah. Good stuff there. And uh, that was a pretty, pretty dangerous there. And you can see Ezekiel just laughing at himself <laughs> as that was on stream. Lamau. Lamau. Yes, that was on stream, Rough Lamau. sir. You were stuck in there, could not get out of there for quite some time. All right, taking um, a look at the overhead here, by the way. You can see the three defenders perching up over on top of the hill here. Perching uh, up like three little piglets would perch. Three, three, looking, look, three little piglets <laughs> using the, the bricks three to their advantage. Three little piglets perching on the perch. And here we go. Kawa on the attack now. Nine centimeter miss right there by Kawa. Yeah, it's actually going to be an interesting round. Yeah, that's hard to hard to, you know, deal with right there. And on a five centimeter miss right there, so two very close shots by Kawa. He's his time is kind of running out. He's got ten seconds left before the the point opens. Um, seven seconds now. He still hasn't gotten hit or hit anyone. So, you know, it's it's it is still good for the defenders. They're just burning out the time. But he is going to go to the point, and he gets a little bit of capture on it. He gets it up to twenty six, but he does Not get enough. taken out by Ezekiel with the last two shots right there. Yeah, it just wasn't enough there. Uh, good try, though, by Kawa. And now on the attack, we will see uh, Frask in here. Yeah. Um, of the oinkers course, need to make something happen the here. The oinkers quick. do. They do. Now, uh, taking a look at the defensive position for Dignitas. Now, lots of rotation going on. As uh, it seemed like Frantic was a little bit more comfortable with his, uh, you know, pre-rockets here going to the mid. And now uh, Kawa taking uh, some shots here from Fraskin. As Fraskin's going to go for the challenge, you can see Garpy trying to put the shots over there, uh, over by the jumper. And now the pressure is going to be on Kawa's Kawa does a uh, Garpy excuse me is going to be able to take him out one armor left there for Fraskin and Fraskin just needs to find something here Kawa playing the elbow so well mm -hmm. and Fraskin's waiting for him to make a mistake but I do not think that he is going to be waiting for a long time for that one to happen as Fraskin's going to rotate around here and gets pegged by a rocket from I'm Frantic from downtown. the distance yeah that was a long that was a fadeaway that was like a fadeaway <laughs> jumper from like half and now court. Garpy can end the game here oh, yeah Garpy now this is a great position here for blue aka dignitas they uh you know they're up and attacking around garpy is a great attacker um you know i think he's one of their strongest attackers and you know all they need is one more point to win so it's not the pressure isn't on garpy like i've said before but you know it, it would be an easy way to finish out the match now if garpy does lose this round it's gonna take it into uh um, and a round where D Dignitas would simply just have to win a defense, yeah. and then they would take the match. But uh, two Bam armor left. Garpy, though, yeah, he's already down tough. to two armor. It's, it's going to be a little tough. He misses that by seven millimeters, not even centimeters. Did you see that? Yeah, that, that was, was an was MM, ridiculous. not a CM. I mean, you would think that would like at least burn the guy's arm a little bit, you know, take a little <laughs> bit of damage. I don't know. It's like, oh, it's he's hot. One armor though. The pole it's is hot. now open. There's still three defenders. I don't think he's going to be Garpy's able to do gonna have to make something happen, but no, he just gets spammed um, on top of the spawn. Now it is going to be eight to seven and. It's going to be up to Lazal. Um, Let's see no. what Lee could do here. 
Yeah. If, uh, you know, he's able to close this, uh, or not close it, but tie it up, that will be big. He was a successful attacker for his team beforehand, and he's trying to go for those fancy jumps as well, but he has not practiced it enough. Um, you know, and we'll, we'll see the players actually getting better at it as time moves on. Lee going to be making his way up to gut here. Rockets whizzing overhead. He is able to avoid him, finding someone over by the pillar, trying to go for a tag, not able to do anything there. Um, but he does know that there's a player there. Now comes a rush down from the right side. Shooting a rocket Ooh. that could have hit, yeah, hit him. Shooting another one. Sure. That could have hit him there. And he's oh, able to nice nail one shot, shot there. Taking out Kawa. Now it's going to be a 1v2, three armor left. One player over by the pillar here. Lee needs to make his way around and get an angle on this player. Uh, and I'm not too sure who it is, but I believe it's going to be Garpy. As yes, it is Garpy. Lee's going to miss a shot. And the goal is going to be active here. And this is going to be a pressure-filled situation for Lee as Frantic is going to be on him like white on rice. Lee is need, needs to avoid this here. Five seconds Six left. Six seconds left. He's going to make his way into the oh, goal, and he, and he caps, caps it. it. Wow, great Oh, my play God. By oh, and I didn't notice when Garpy got disconnected. Garpy crashed again. Uh-oh. This is not good. Oh, man. That is not, for, that is not very good. That could have been a very big game wow. there. Now, did, did Garpy crash after he got killed? Uh, I'm not too sure, but Lee says that he uh, uh, that okay, he so did he have did his not, laser on him. He disappeared. Okay. I don't know. Well, Doesn't matter. You know so what? Let's uh, go ahead and jump to a break then, if yeah. anything, and wait for Garpy to get back yeah, we're in have here. have to wait for Garpy to get back, and then we'll yeah. be right back with some uh, some more action here for you guys to finish off this first map of the semifinals.